and sewage water. Hang on, let's take it back. Today we treat water as a renewable resource. We think we can use as much as we want of it without causing any harm to our future or the environment. If we keep on moving forward into a future at the same rate in terms of our water usage, we will eventually move into a water crisis. There will be heavy restrictions and you won't be able to enjoy a nice long shower in the morning. This will be the time where everybody would wish they listened to that video that those children made from Geelong College. We need a solution to this problem and that is reclaim sewage water. We know this does sound impossible, but it is possible, and the outcome is surprisingly cleaner than the water you are drinking now. In fact, you wouldn't even know the difference between both. I know, crazy right? So, how is sewage water turned into Class A reclaimed water? Well, it goes through many processes to ensure it is the safest water it can possibly be. The first stage of recycling water is the sewage main pipe that pumps the waste into screen filters. This is just a simple filter. Then it all moves into selector tanks. This is where billions of microorganisms are added with the waste. These little microbes come from the waste material at the end of the process. Next is the aeration tanks. This is where oxygen is mixed with the waste to keep the microorganisms alive. This is also the stage where the microbes eat and and digest waste. At the same time, there is some waste being removed from the bottom of the tanks. This waste gets pumped back into sele the selector tanks and after two hours of aeration, it goes into a stage called sedimentation. The sludge will sink to the bottom and the clean water will stay on top. They then take the water off the top of the tank. This water is called class C water, but it doesn't stop here. The Class C water either gets pumped into the ocean, sent to farmers, or stored for later to be turned into Class A water. To get Class A water, we need to put Class C water through two more stages. Specialised filtration process is known as ultrafiltration, which removes the last of the harmful organisms, salt, and chemicals from the water. The last step is UV disinfection. This is where the water flows into a chamber with highly powered UV lamps. That kills the last of the organisms that may be present in the water. Now we have Class A reclaimed water. So the only problem now is that this water is illegal to drink. The reason for this is that Class A water is not fit for hu human consumption. The government may change this law if they reconsider the idea that water will always be a renewable resource. The great outcomes of having reclaimed water pumped to your house is that it's cheaper, you're helping the environment, and it's cleaner. For some people, the best way to learn how valuable water is to us is to go into a crisis. But this isn't the best way that we can learn, because we can learn without going through a crisis. I think we all know which is the best for us. We can wait for the government to do something, or we could all act together as a community to make reclaimed water a new future.